Hello everyone, I am Ankit and you are watching Study IQ IS English. In our today's video, we are going to understand why cloud seeding experiments are going on in Delhi which is intended to create artificial rainfall. Or does this artificial rainfall ever work? We will try to understand this in our today's video and the notes that I will be using in our today's session. You can go to this particular telegram channel ADS live and download them. You should get this channel on the telegram app and if you have any problems just go to that search bar click on it and write ATS live you will find the channel you can download the notes from there and while you are at it please do not forget to subscribe to the channel also. Okay, So let us start by understanding what is happening in Delhi. Now you can understand this time of the year from October to December the pollution levels in Delhi are skyrocketing. So as to deal or to curb this pollution levels a bit the government is trying many things multiple times. One of this which has made news across the country is cloud seeding trials which is going on with an intention to bring artificial rainfall in the skies of Delhi. Now naturally upon hearing this news people of Delhi were like Bhuvan of the movie Lagan where they were dancing just to expect a rain which would give them the respite from much needed pollution right. But did this actually happen? The answer is no. As you can recall the cloud seeding experiment for the first time was taken in Delhi yesterday in some areas with an intention to bring artificially induced rainfall which was to reduce the worsening air pollution in Delhi and this experiment was conducted by Delhi government led by CM Mrs. Rekha Gupta and in close collaboration with the very premier engineering institute of India IIT Kanpur. Now to spend for this kind of an experiment the government allowed spending of 3 crore rupees which will be spent in 5 similar trials that will go on in next few months. Now the result of this experiment was that this experiment failed miserably yesterday as no rainfall occurred in Delhi despite the cloud seeding incidents and the air quality which was to be reduced due to rainfall naturally remained in the territory of very poor. So this shows that yes this time the cloud seeding experiment was not at all successful. So what are the reasons for its not so success what are the meteorological conditions that contributes to air pollution that becomes important for our today's exam now in our today's video we'll first cover what are the reasons that worsens the air pollution in delhi during this time of the year and then we'll try to understand is cloud seeding experiment really the right thing to do or what are the other methods using which we can reduce the amount of pollution in delhi so first let us understand what are the factors that contributes to pollution levels in delhi and these belongs to two different factors these are meteorological as well as human induced factors let us first understand what are the meteorological factors that leads to high amount of pollution in delhi at this time of the year now you can understand as diwali goes by the temperature starts to reduce and this brings the phenomenon of temperature inversion that during the time of early morning there is a presence of cold air at the nearest or at the ground level whereas as you go up the air becomes warmer so due to presence of cold air near the surface it traps the pollutants preventing the vertical mixing of pollutants and therefore allowing for dispersal of the pollution. Now one another way to disperse the pollution is that if the wind speeds are high but during this time of the year the wind speeds are relatively calm and this prevents the dispersion of pollution. Similarly, during this time of the year, when the rainfall has withdrawn from most of the parts of our country, it leads to formation of dry air and stable atmospheric conditions. And this stable atmospheric conditions curbs the cloud formation and rainfall which otherwise would have naturally dealt with the occurrence of pollution. So these are meteorological factors that leads to occurrence of air pollution in Delhi. But adding to it, there are many human induced factors also. The first is the rising amount of vehicles in Delhi, both four wheelers and two wheelers. And this is natural because as the population in this area has rapidly exploded, this has also increased the amount of vehicles that are plying on the roads of Delhi and not just Delhi, but in the entire NCR. And this adds to the concentration of particulate matter. Adding to it is the occurrences of construction and road dust. Now as this area is economically developed, so there is all the year, all throughout the year, the construction activities is going on. And in India, there is a negative thing with construction activities that it happens in open air. You won't find any under construction building closed or covered. Similarly, the 
uh, sand that you require for construction activity it is also lying there in the open air so this also adds to the kind of particulate matter and adds to the pollution levels and also there is a habit in western countries that they maintain and clean their roads effectively but in india the road management is quite poor and this adds to the level of pollution in the skies of delhi similarly as delhi is quite economically developed there are existence of multiple industrials and power plant units in near vicinity to delhi there are multiple ntpc power plants like in badarpur area of delhi and in dadri area of uttar pradesh so all of this industrial and power plant related electricity generation adds to the pollution and particulate matter particularly the emissions of harmful gases like sulfur dioxide nitrogen oxides and pm 2.5 and pm 10 also adding to it is the instances of agriculture in stubble burning now at this time of the year the farmers in the states like punjab haryana western uttar pradesh they harvest their paddy crops and in order to get their farms ready for the next cycle of rabi crop they need their farms to be cleared at the earliest possible time so if they use the services of labor it would add to the cost and also the time that they require to prepare for their next cycle of crops so in order to reduce the time and cost farmers prefer for to burn this agricultural stubble and when this agricultural stubble which is burning over the skies of punjab haryana with the winds when they arrive at delhi and the conditions in delhi allows for trapment of this kind of a wind leading to high occurrences of pollution also there delhi also faces a problem of large amount of generation of waste and when these wastes are burned in open air it leads to pollution and also occurrences of diesel generators which are used to supplement the power supply all of these factors contribute to adding of pollution so we have discussed both human related factors and meteorological factors all of them add to the pollution and one of the measures to deal with the pollution was actually cloud seeding in cloud seeding it is basically a weather modification technique in this technique normally the rainfall happens when water vapor they condense around a natural particle in the clouds to form water droplets now to supplement these natural particles scientists they seed artificial particles like silver iodide like potassium iodide or even sodium chloride which are induced or introduced in the clouds to enhance the process of droplets or ice crystal formation and this artificial particles like we have discussed it acts as a nuclei over which the water droplet starts to condense and this eventually falls down on the ground level in form of rain now this artificial seeding of artificial particles or cloud seeding of artificial particles are done through aerial vehicles be it planes be it drones or be it rockets even so these were done in order to seed the clouds with artificial particles which would allow for enhancement of droplets or ice formation and this would fall down on the ground level as rain eventually setting down all the pollutants so this was the theory of ground seeding or this was theory of artificial rainfall now there are few prerequisites or few conditions that you require before such kind of an experiment would be successful first of all you are not leading to or you're not forming the clouds yourself rather you're supplementing the clouds with artificial substance so presence of cloud cover is very essential and this should have a suitable depth which should have the probability or capacity to eventually lead to rainfall so cloud seeding requires cloud droplets and liquid water content and only only then it would lead to rainfall also occurrences of western disturbances that is winter storm coming from mediterranean and caspian sea is essential to bring cloud to northern part of the country and without existence of such conditions that is adequate cloud cover which has suitable depth and absence of western disturbances you won't see any kind of rainfall because then there would be clear sky and this cloud seeding even if you do in that case won't lead to rainfall now what happened in delhi why this experiment failed there are certain meteorological reasons behind it first is the clouds yesterday on which the cloud seeding experiment took place it only had about 10 to 15% humidity on the other hand for this experiment to be successful you need clouds to at least have 50 to 60% humidity so one condition was not successful that your cloud had a less moisture content second was absence of favorable meteorological conditions i told you western disturbances are very essential because they bring rain bearing clouds over the skies of north india and in absence of weak 
uh, in absence of western disturbances this did not lead to suitable conditions also at this time of the year i told you there exists dry winter atmosphere and in addition to that there is also low wind speed which traps the pollutants so you are increasing the amount of pollutants and to deal with the pollutants you don't have adequate cloud cover and therefore when government spent around 1 lakh rupees per square kilometers it did not lead to a successful outcome so this was the reason why such experiment failed in delhi now this brings my attention to a larger question now is this the first time a cloud seeding experiment or instances of artificial rainfall ever happened in india the answer is no if you look at this slide there has been multiple instances in the past where we have tried to bring artificial rainfall but one thing in common with all these past instances is that all of these instances have failed for example in 1950s and up till 1970s many instances or many examples were created where government wanted to induce rainfall in a drought prone region so the intention of cloud seeding back then was to bring more rainfall in an area which was water stressed and going forward when the problems of pollution started to rise in urban areas similar experiments also started in mumbai so in 2009 the government of maharashtra spent as much as 25 crore rupees to bring rainfall in a region so as to bring water in a particular lake but this does this lead to success no it brought minimal drizzle and with multiple attempts and by spending multiple crores of rupees similarly this matter also took place in andhra pradesh back in 2008 to 2011 this matter became politically controversial but did it lead to better result the answer again is no the results of this experiment were inconclusive what does this example show you this example shows you that indians forever since ancient times since medieval time they have failed to learn from their history they haven't been able to understand their past mistakes and rectify the same in the present day so this shows us we are prisoners of our history and this has been continuing even at the time when we have become relatively developed we have become a developing country and we are ruled over by popular governments right now what is the reason why is government preparing such instances or why is government having such a short term thinking the answer lies in political reasons now why is artificial rainfall never a solution for bringing down pollution levels in india first of all at this time of the year there are many meteorological mismatches during the time of winter months in delhi the winter months bring very dry and little cloud formation so the first prerequisite of first essential condition for cloud seeding experiment to be successful is that you need to have clouds which having adequate amount of water retention adequate amount of humidity which does not exist during this time of the year at least in delhi similarly the pollution levels in delhi is not just because of pollution happening in delhi it is also pollution that is coming to delhi from adjoining areas be it states like punjab haryana or be it from adjoining ncr regions so the pollution nature of delhi is regional in nature and we are trying to do something which has a very limited spatial effect right so artificial rain even if it is successful would be able to solve pollution in a particular area whereas pollution in delhi happens from all across the region right so this brings a very spatial or limited impact to a region problem which is regional in nature also there are many chemical concerns associated with it first is that continued use of such artificial agents like silver iodide may have ecological side effect they might be in long term carcinogenic in nature right so we are forgetting all of this shortcoming that is associated with artificial rainfall first of all it is not a foolproof method second is that you need adequate meteorological conditions which does not exist in delhi at this time of the year and even if even if you are able to do rainfall successfully this would be a very short term solution to a long term problem long term and a regional problem right so what is the broader policy problem that we infer from this instance is that the government is dealing with solution keeping very short terms in mind and this has been a continuous problem with government of delhi earlier it was ruled by aam aadmi party today it is ruled by bjp and both of these governments have faced this short termism problem that they have repeatedly relied on emergency responses they have repeatedly been reactive to a problem that requires a proactive solution they have been trying to do a fire fighting of a problem. problem that requires fireproofing be it odd even vehicle schemes with added 
multiply to the inconvenience that people faced installing of smoke towers and anti smoke guns which are not as effective as we wanted them to be and now that trying to bring artificial rainfall through cloud seeding instances so why is government doing that they are doing that so that it would create them a political visibility they would be seen doing something at least right and they are not trying to address the core emission sources through which the pollutions are being added to delhi and therefore this highlights the real problem lies in governance coordination and enforcement not in the instances of why your experiments has failed so what can we do now in order to bring down the pollution levels in delhi we can do reforms in transportation sector first of all we can imply or impose congestion pricing by adding entry fees to the popular district centers adding to the parking charges and so that people do not face inconvenience we can expand our public transportation network like in major cities across the world similarly we can also promote our industrial and energy sector to adopt more renewable and cleaner fuels and do away with coal based power generation similarly agricultural transition is also very essential one of the key sources of pollution in delhi right now is agricultural stubble burning so in order to do that we can incentivize farmers to move away from paddy to other crops and similarly we can also incentivize stubble burning management by providing them with the subsidy so that they can actually not burn their stubble and decompose them effectively also construction and waste management becomes very essential it should be made mandatory to install dust control technologies in the construction sites and we should also ban open burning of waste and we also need a political reform the governance of not just delhi but the entire ncr region particularly the matters of coordination with transportation should be given to a particular body and in that case either we can strengthen the existing caqm commission for air quality management or we can constitute a metropolitan transport authority which would be responsible for all kind of public transport transport not just in delhi but in the adjoining national capital region so these are the important solutions that we can adopt now before solving the practice question i have something important that i needed to tell you this relates to our p2i foundation batches right now we are about to start on 31st of october newer batches which will help you clear this exam for 27 and 28 now in case if you need any help there is a phone number which is flashing on the bottom half of your screen go do give us a call on that number we will help you address all of your concerns and if you decide to take these batches please remember one thing if you use this code ats live you will get maximum discounts on all our courses okay so this is all from my side now this is the question i want all of you to solve please do let me know the correct answers in the comment section this is basically a question relating to cloud seeding the exact topic that we did today and do let me know the correct answers in the comments the ones who answer it correctly would get a thumbs up from my side and if you want to download the notes these will be made available on the particular telegram channel ats live if you have problems in locating the channel you can always scan this qr code so this is all from my side please have a very good day good night